Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how we can uh, do a scenario planning for a S&P 500 index uh, by using the stochastic differential equation what I derived in the previous uh, video. Uh, so I'm going to take uh, uh, the S1, uh, which is uh, the return of the investment uh, after the first uh, duration, uh, so dx1. Uh, so here uh, in this example, I'm going to take a very small duration. So which means uh, the you know all this is the this is the return of the investment during the day of S and P index. Uh, let's say the initial investment is going to be hundred dollars. Um, the D T is uh, say you know we can take a small uh, variance. Uh, so say zero point zero zero four or something like that. Which means like we will be having 250 times of uh, uh, trading within the given day or monitoring of S&P index uh, for the given day. Um, so the after uh, say uh, almost uh, two minutes later, what is the value of uh, um, S&P index of the given day? Um, so to do that, we, I have to find out mu and sigma. Uh, so what I'm going to do is like I'm going to take the S&P uh, 500 index uh, value for say 9 to 10 years and take the mean of that and the standard deviation of uh, the S&P index and take the percentage of that and use that uh, in this equation. Um, so, so here this mu uh, and the sigma is going to be like a fixed or a constant because I am going to calculate that based upon the historical value. Um, I am going to calculate that by, for the historical value. Uh, so, but the x1, uh, x2, uh, these are the uh, dx1, dx2 are the random variables. I am going to use the um, uh, inbuilt function to create the uh, random variable for those. Um, so then what I am going to do is uh, I am going to plot, uh, say this is uh, dt for a first day. Uh, this is the S&P index. Let's say I am going to start with $100. So based upon the random variable, the value may go up like this for the first day. Um, so let's say for the second day, I can start off of where I left. Um, so it's going to start from here again. It is going to go like this. This is a DT. This is a SNP for the second day. This is the first day. And uh, you know I can show this for like few days, uh, with, with, uh, third day, fourth day. Um, and I, I will show you how this uh, plot uh, can be made uh, for the S&P uh, index. So I'm going to write a simple R program uh, and uh, show this um, in an R program. Okay. So in this uh, program, I uh, loaded the S&P index 500 index. Um, so I can show you. Um, so this library has the value of S&P 500 index. So this is a daily value. So it, you see that there is a 2780 days worth of data on the average return of S&P. Um, then uh, I'm actually going to take uh, the mean of that. Um, so if you take the mean of S&P 500 uh, and I'm going to take a percentage of it. So this is basically the uh, return of uh, the mean value of S&P 500, the percentage of return uh, of S&P 500. Uh, similarly, if I take the standard deviation, uh, oops, standard deviation. So th basically, I, I am finding those two values. So let me start with the one day. Uh, and again, as I said in the beginning of this video, I'm going to take uh, uh, times uh, 0 0.004 which is like a 250 times iteration um, so this is basically um, the main equation right uh, uh, there I'm cal calculating the s which is uh, s equal to s times e to the power mu dt plus sigma dx and uh, the dx I'm actually getting from the random variable um, uh, you know by using the R norm um, so like uh, let me 
let me uh, load this file and uh, I just wrote the function called ABC um, so if you see the the graph what was created like say it started at uh, hundred dollars and uh, I'm doing it for 250 iteration this is for one day the, here is the you know based upon the mean value and based upon the standard deviation I got from the historical uh, you know the value of S&P can go uh, and this is the you know this can go based upon this graph um, so let's say if I run this program one more time you can see the value can you know you know go either way like say here in this case um, it is uh, started from hundred dollars and it ended up in ninety nine dollars which means like we lost a dollar by betting on the s p uh, 500 index on that given day let's say if I do for the second day um, so again it starts hundred dollars and uh, it, it actually you know gained uh, like a, a, a percent or so by end of the day um, so I can do this iteration so in this scenario it looks like it lost a dollar uh, a do lost a dollar meaning like a percent of uh, almost a percent or a little over a percent was lost uh, on that given day so I actually I wrote a program such a way it can uh, draw the graph for multiple days let's say we want to see the graph for three days um, let me run the uh, function one more time so it is actually uh, ran the graph for three days so let me see where is the, so this is the first day um, so this is the first day it went for 250 iterations uh, it ended up uh, losing money right so then this is the second day the green color graph is the second day it started the uh, uh, the, the random variable you know we simulated the random variable value for 250 times for the given day at the end of the day it ended up somewhere here for the third day again it started from here and it drew the graph and uh, at the end of the third day it looks like uh, we gained um, close to uh, two percent uh, by you know betting on s p 500 on, uh, based on this uh, simulation uh, let's say if I increase the date to say six days so again you can see that it started from hundred dollars uh, I mean I, I don't uh, put this uh, legend which uh, color indicates which day uh, this may be not uh, uh, perfectly clear uh, what we ended up uh, because uh, we know for sure it started at hundred dollars and the very first day it looks like we gained and uh, you know um, so this is basically the sim simulation of uh, uh, S&P in index based upon the stochastical differential equation what I derived in the previous video um, but very quickly you can see that how um, you know complex this becomes from a computation standpoint let us say I do this for 15 days um, it's not bad actually not uh, bad at all um, so this is basically the 15 day simulation of S&P 500 index uh, for 250 day iterations meaning like we are doing 250 trades um, every day uh, for 15 days let's say I do this for 30 days see very quickly it become uh, very complicated from a computation standpoint I think uh, I got a warning maybe it did not complete for all 50 days uh, whatever day I gave what is today? Uh, 30 days looks like maybe I'll try 20 days like 20 days not bad um, so this is basically the simulation of S&P 500 index for 20 days um, so this is uh, one index uh, S&P 500 and uh, basically doing a scenario planning uh, with the uh, stochastic differential equation but uh, if you're talking about a mutual fund or, uh, or uh, other 
uh, investments which has a multiple index associated to it and if you want to know the performance of uh, the mutual fund or the sustainability or stability or, uh, uh, or uh, longevity of that kind of investment uh, so we need to have this kind of a stochastic uh, simulation and monte carlo simulation for the stochastic uh, equation for various uh, parameters so very quickly this becomes a uh, very complicated and uh, that's where we need to have uh, highly sophisticated uh, com computing systems uh, like hadoop and uh, some uh, um, parallel computing uh, so what I am going to do is in the future video, I am going to take some mutual funds and see how the nested stochastic equations can be solved uh, for the uh, distributed uh, investment uh, scenarios and uh, provide the various scenario planning for those kind of uh, investments.